Hello everyone. Welcome back to my next session which is about budgeting and it forms a part of the 5th semester BSc HNHA. In today's session we are going to discuss uh, discuss about a smaller portion of budgeting which will include budgeting and budgetary control. Now to understand the concept of budgeting we will learn about what budgeting actually is and also about what is budgetary control if we talk about budgeting and we know as in india as well budgeting is done by the finance minister of india related to all the expenses that are going to happen in the entire year now that you know that it is created for the financial year similarly in all the businesses and as well as in the hotel business the budgeting is done for a financial year so basically it is a financial and a quantitative statement which has uh, figures mentioned on it for a uh, for a defined period of time for a particular period of time and our purpose is to attain the given objective or the given agenda so we formulate certain plans for our future activity and which which has to be laid down carefully so that all the objectives can be achieved in the right frame of time also it provides the yardstick if we talk about yardstick it acts as a benchmark or we can say it acts as a baseline if we are deviating from any objective that we have created so that responsibility is of the financial controller or we can say of the finance manager who heads the finance department in the hotels now a budget can also be defined as an estimate of what we have earned and what we are spending on the thing that we earn is the income and uh, the money that we spend is the expenses now that has to be calculated obviously for a given period of time and that given period of time is the financial year or we can also say the budgets are also created monthly and day wise so everything has to be calculated day wise or week wise or month wise or we can say half yearly and yearly so the agenda is to uh, not deviate from the particular budgeted amount in a given frame of time now the departmental heads also forecast what their expenses would be what their incomes would be and calculate those figures and sits down with the financial controller and the budgeted amounts are calculated so the controller also prepares the budget and helps this helps uh, uh, in uh, in knowing to the top management what our budgets would be for the upcoming financial year so the format if we talk about budget is similarly of a profit and loss statement and it is prepared for a financial year like i mentioned previously updated monthly and has to be a uh, has to be uh, submitted for approval at least 2 to 3 months before the start of the financial year like we know the financial year starts in the month of april 1st of april so the uh, uh, statement has to be submitted by january or february and everything has to be put into records now talking about what all expenses are classified in the budgeting uh, uh, topic now if we talk about payrolls and related expenses the salaries uh, uh, the contractual salaries that we give to the staff will come under this expenses operating guest supplies for the rooms to be made up in the hotels we need a uh, different kinds of guest supplies we also need some toiletries some other amenities uh, some linen some uh, bath linen everything is required for the guest supplies now we also have to calculate the cost of food and beverage and other items that are offered for sale all those are expenses for us now if our hotel has been established or we want to advertise or uh, uh, publish something in the newspapers or emailers or we have to give advertisements somewhere those expenses are also has also has to be calculated now to run a hotel it consumes a lot of power and a lot of energy now that also comes under an expense similarly if you if the hotel is being used daily every day so there are certain kinds of maintenance issues some repairs that have to be done again that adds to an expense and a capital investment we want to renovate we want to start up a, a new restaurant so there is a huge amount of investment that will be required to put in and that is also an expense for us similarly like we know that the third party gives us business we also give certain kind of commissions to the third party now those commissions help us give give uh, immense amount of business 
so that commissions that we have to pay to the third party also comes under the expenses now budget uh, also has to be controlled which is known as budgetary control now if we do not control the budget our budgeting will be of no use so you know it's a financial control uh, through the proper implementation of the budget if you're not implementing the right budget and we are not creating any kind of a standard or any kind of a benchmark to evaluate whatever actual performance is then the budget will be of no use so any deviation which has been noticed has to be corrected if we can correct it or also has to be brought to the notice of the management and the correct action has to be taken at the right time so that we do not uh, uh, you know end up with a less amount of uh, income and our expenses increase in that particular financial uh, year so it is very important that the budgetary control uh, is done in every a uh, department of the hotel and eventually it has to be seen by the financial controller or the finance manager who oversees all these operations likewise in the next session we are going to learn about the advantages of budgeting control we will learn about the essentials for good budgeting and the role of a financial controller well thank you so much i hope you enjoyed my session we'll see you soon with the upcoming new topic